Hi, Leo. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. So this is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. We have the Sun, okay. So I definitely feel for a lot of you, I'm noticing we have the Five of Cups at the bottom. It feels like there is, it's almost like I'm hearing spirits say too, during this new year. So it could been could have been um, as we have transitioned into 2024, it feels like there's kind of this sense of joy or expansion and happiness that you could be finding within yourself. And I feel like there's also a feeling here of almost like something being replaced in your life. So some of you could be finding that you just have like a situation or certain things that begin to show up in your life, which almost feel like you um, have felt that they are replacements for things that you lost in the past, if that makes sense. Um, of course, the sun is the most beautiful card here in the deck. So um, I do feel like this is speaking to a feeling of kind of getting over the hump, you know, getting over the worst of something, feeling that there's happiness to experience, feeling that there are um, something with these zodiac signs too in a circle. It feels like there's many kind of possibilities opening as well is also something coming through. And I did actually see the... Let me see if it's still here. Yeah, karmic relationship, because they're pointing to something about a karmic relationship. So some of you with this turmoil, resentments, fleeting triggers, and with the five of cups here at the bottom, you may have released a karmic relationship for some of you. I'm hearing that you may actually not have even known that you've done this for some. It's like it might be something that you've done sort of spiritually speaking or subconsciously. And they want you to be proud of yourself because there's a sense here of, um, again, overcoming the worst of a difficult or troublesome relationship or past, I feel. Um, and so for that sun, I keep getting this feeling of the year of 2024. Many things are coming. So I think there's something to where like, even though, you know, the calendar days and time is not really real in terms of energy there's just something to where when we switched over to 2024 it was building up to the moment here that we're at now of kind of this sense of freedom for the year to come so i don't know this reading could even be something about the year of 2024 for the collective because i keep getting that about like a reset here for the entire year and I feel that others of you, I'm also getting a message that if you do find yourself in some kind of soul connection, it could be a twin flame connection, could be a karmic connection. It almost feels like the way that you see yourself is changing and the way that that other person sees you is changing. And there's actually two children on this card here too. So there could be uh, maybe something about like a, uh, a mirrored soul from the past, past life connection. And it seems like that's also a topic here coming up in this reading that the way that you are going to be showing up in the world is changing due to your own self growth. And so somebody else can kind of meet you on a deeper level, or you're able to attract in a partnership. Um, and just people in general, you know, partnerships in general and friendships that can kind of uh, go beneath the, the layers for you, you know, go beneath the core of what maybe you have been up until this point, um, not able to kind of access. And this word on here too, letting go and loving you is sticking out to me. So there could even be something about letting go of one thing and kind of deciding to love somebody else or to kind of um, invite in a higher version of love or a higher love in general here. There's something about a bouquet, bouquet shop, so a flower shop. I don't know if you call it a bouquet shop or a flower shop. So somebody could work there. It's also this feeling of like strolling down the street and kind of being in the moment. But let's go ahead and see what else. What else do we have, Spirit, for this message today for whoever this is? 
I'm also getting Scorpio Sun. So if you are a Scorpio Sun, this could even be more significant for you. We have the Devil. Interesting how that karmic relationship is showing up at the bottom. And here we have the Devil. Um, yeah, so I will say some of you, it's almost like an interesting feeling to where right now you're straddling these two realities with the five of pentacles at the bottom as well. Um, it feels like you have, it's almost that feeling, I guess, cause they're showing me like somebody walking, um, to a flower shop and you're kind of enjoying your day. You're in the moment, you feel good. And then it's like something kind of triggers you again. It could be someone returning. It could be something that kind of like gives you some sudden reminder of something in your life and i feel like it's really coming from like a trauma response so i feel like this message is just really for a group of people who need to know that you you've done a lot of work on yourself but this devil is coming up here let's get a little bit more tell me a little bit more spirit for this message Who is this for here today? What is the message that needs to come up for the collective? Yeah, it's almost like a feeling to where we're on the tip of the, the, the iceberg here, the tip of the tongue, like something is getting ready to be released. We have the Six of Pentacles and we have the Moon here. I feel like a lot of abundance here is trickling in but i will say with the moon and the devil there could be some blockages to receiving this and somebody may need to hear that right now that you are in the process here of becoming somebody who is able to release yourself from those ties so that the energy of flow and abundance can be more steady in your life and it could be financially related with the six of pentacles it could be anything really it doesn't have to be just financially but um with this moon here and the devil these two cards for me as well and actually we have the sun and the moon i just noticed so i feel like that's why i'm getting an energy of counterparts coming up some of you could be on the twin flame journey if you resonate with this reading um It's like there's, a sliver of something that has to be released here. Let me actually grab this deck and see what else we have from this because I almost feel like there's something, I can't tell if this is something coming in here or something which needs to come in. We have healing hearts, so freedom from toxic relationship, healing from heartbreak. But I kind of feel like stuck in this, even though I don't feel stuck in it, which is why it's an interesting feeling. Because with the sun here, uh, tell me a little bit more, Spirit. What are you trying to say with this? Is this something that's, what is this here for the collective? Okay, so yeah, empath and narcissist paradigm, enable boundaries, girl with the snake. And we have love. So unconditional love, self-love, passion, affection, attraction. I mean, yeah, I think the main message, though, keeps coming up with the sun here, that this is a time to focus on unconditional love. This may not be a reading for everybody, so just take it if it's going to resonate. But there's definitely um, some triggers that have either come up recently or that could be coming up shortly. Um, and it seems to be connected to maybe somebody that you do consider to be a narcissist in your life or a few of you or just patterns that you've dealt with here when it comes to these types of people. And I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, there's a message here coming up for, for someone, which again is not going to be for all of you, but for someone that if you have something that is returning to you, uh, returning into your life or starting to trigger you again this is kind of the opportunity for you to have stronger boundaries and to take a look at those patterns a little bit more deeply so that this does not kind of persist and continue in 2024 um, is something coming through so 
yeah, it's a little bit more of like a shadow message here today, but that's definitely what somebody I feel needs to hear. And I think that I keep getting this message that some of you are not aware. I keep hearing not aware. So maybe you don't know what I'm talking about yet, or you don't really, it's something which is deeply buried with the moon. So this would be especially true if you've been feeling that there's been certain blockages to things, or you've been kind of circling around a certain cycle over and over, and you can't seem to kind of let it go or release it, or you feel very frustrated by that. I think Spirit's saying that this is kind of underneath the surface what's going on. There's a hidden kind of feeling here. Um, and it all kind of comes down to unconditionally loving yourself, even though if it sounds cliche, but unconditionally loving yourself here with the sun. Because they keep wanting to say something about the future timeline. And I actually did see here we have Cupid's arrow. So some of you have faith because love is coming. And maybe, because I think sometimes spirit will prepare us, you know, for things before we know what it is. So I think your guides could be preparing you for something that's coming into your life, some love opportunity or love connection. And that's why the first card is the sun. And that's why we have the moon, the shadow, you know, of the sun, the sun and the moon, because I feel that there's the sun's trying to shine, you know, it's trying to almost like outshine the moon, if that makes sense. It doesn't really make sense, but it's something like that to where, um, that's why I was getting with the devil that there could be a, a kind of a bit of a warning here or a message that some of you are reverting back to an old pattern or may have an opportunity or not even an opportunity, but a scenario or a situation where somebody could trigger you or try to trigger you or get under your skin. And if that does come up or if it has come up recently, even just energetically, that's what this is about here to um, really kind of acknowledge where that's coming from so that you can heal it. And um, because I'm getting this message about feeling safe with the sun. So I feel some of you may have um, a desire to have a connection to where you feel safe with that person. And it's all about feeling safe within yourself right now, feeling safe within what you can provide for yourself, feeling safe within your own body, your own skin. And, and yeah, for somebody very specific, there could be uh, possibly someone here who, again, I don't know if they're entering your life or if they are already just in your life or if it's just something you're thinking about, but there's somebody that may have something else going on and it's like their energy is being given elsewhere. And so that is where your guys are asking kind of for you to see kind of where things are out of balance. You know, are you settling for somebody who's giving to other things as well? And is it coming from this space within you that doesn't feel worthy or unconditionally loved within yourself? Okay, is there anything else here that we need to know for the collective? I'm seeing somebody sitting at the beach and kind of just sitting there and watching the waves crash. So you may want to do that if you live near a beach, um, but it's also kind of with the Empress at the bottom being in the moment, maybe connecting with water, just kind of being in a state where you can here and getting off the roller coaster so yeah there's definitely something about taking a vacation or taking some time to say taking some time off and for those of you who are in this kind of connection currently or dealing with a narcissist right now um, there's definitely an advice coming up from your guides to take some time off take some time to yourself maybe take like a mini vacation or just withdraw back into yourself right now because they're saying here that again, there's like a preparation for something. So I'm gonna look at that in a second, but there's like a preparation for what is to come later on or what is to come later down the road for you in 2024. And so what you're going through now is in preparation for that to come. So you're in a good position with the Empress, even if you don't feel like you are. We have the star. And we have the, yeah, the Four of Swords. It's so funny because I was going to say, I bet we have the Four of Swords here. 
yeah, there's definitely a resting feeling, a resting energy. And I keep getting this beautiful sensation. So now with the positive energy, let's focus on this because I feel like with the star and the ace of wands, there's like this renewal of your heart. It's almost like your heart's beating faster again. There's like something within love or an opportunity here that they're telling me the main message, if you can take anything away from the reading or if this is for you, is to don't give up right now on your healing and don't give up on love. Don't give up on kind of, you know, feeling defeated in these patterns that you're dealing with because again with the star and the ace of wands there's something which is right around the corner here or it's it's like a potential here to um to know that you will find love again or you will feel love again there will be an opportunity for something to be renewed so don't give up here I am being shown for someone specifically. You could be going to an actual like retreat, some kind of spiritual retreat, um, getting something about Tulum. Is that is that what it is? Um, but that's just for somebody. Yeah, something quick's coming in. So let's look at that. There's something quick coming in here. Something which, well, it may not be quick. It's either quick right now or it's something which, when it does come in, it's going to move very quickly. So they want you to, again, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for what's to come. Let's see what that is. Okay, yeah, it's somebody new. It's a date. Um, yeah, so this... Even though the reading kind of feels heavy in the beginning, um, a lot of you, especially if you're looking for new love, there's somebody who you're going to be talking to. Some kind of text will arrive, a call, a message will arrive here. And I keep getting something about like a different culture or some foreign travel, just for some with the Ace of Wands. And that could be where you meet this individual. Somebody could ask you to... Um, it's like you're starting something. There's like a there's like a fresh start here, a fresh beginning, a lot of communication back and forth. And I'm just I'm hearing that word safe again with the Empress. So I feel like you're gonna feel safe. You also are are something with the Four of Swords here too, to where you're feeling safer within yourself, or when you feel safe within yourself you again can attract somebody to feel safe with you or to make you feel safe. And I think that's why again, the first card is the sun because these two people or these, I think they're children, uh, yeah, are reconnecting. It does feel like a reconnection, but I'll have to get a little bit more here because I don't really know if this is speaking to like a reconciliation type of reconnection or if it's more of a reconnection with yourself, which again leads you to reconnect to a soulmate or someone who you have maybe have been destined to kind of meet here there's like a with a star there's some kind of reconnection happening on a more celestial and higher level for someone very specific you could be moving somewhere new and it seems like that's where they could be moving somewhere new and it's like that fresh beginning that fresh start kind of will um, you may even be drawn to certain locations in the world for someone because I keep being shown different locations travel so if you are being drawn to go somewhere very specific either for a vacation or to relocate there's actually a deeper meaning and a reason for that on a soul level because you're meant to be in that location for you to either be a healer in that area and to kind of um you know there's something about you helping the earth there or like a certain location but it's also going to come with a date or somebody that's going to want to reach out I'm also getting another specific message here. If you have either become recently single or if you are planning to sort of like, you know, walk away from something, it feels like there's an opportunity in in space. I was going to say cyberspace, not cybers. I mean, it could be cyberspace, but there's like an opening of a window where somebody sees that about you and they see here that someone didn't appreciate you in the past and now they want to have their chance because 
they see your value and so it's like you're you're basically um as you level up within yourself this old energy that's been trying to keep you from buying the flowers at the bouquet shop try, trying to keep you from living in the moment when you free yourself from that this other new person sees that even if they don't see it physically energetically and they want to swoop in really quickly when that happens so that's why I'm saying this could move very quickly. So this is a message for some of you also, if you have been feeling kind of that you really want to meet new love this year, or you really want to get back out there, I think the first step would be to look within and to ask yourself, where are you still holding maybe some cords? Where are you still holding some um, shadows within yourself? Because the minute that you kind of release that it seems to come in very quickly this new love and see at the bottom we have coffee cup is as well there's something about the moment um savoring the moment meeting somebody i'm getting something about africa here so somebody either could be traveling to africa um or you could have ancestors coming through here there's something really strongly about that i just can't tell more than that but um, let's see what else we have. What else is this message about here for this? Tell us about this date. Look at that. The lovers, the knight of wands, the temperance card, the three of pentacles, sorry, three of wands and the ace of pentacles. I'm hearing the song Abracadabra. Abracadabra, I want to reach out and grab you. So yeah, this is definitely, I feel, it's kind of funny, that song, because it feels like something to where there's a lot of fire behind this. There's a lot of passion behind this. There's a lot of, um, like, like that song, you know, I want to manifest you very, it's almost like out of thin air somehow. It's very interesting. Um, so we'll do an extended and we'll look I mean, I'll get more now, but we'll do an extended later and take a look a little bit more as to the specifics of this person, maybe get some characteristics, who they are, because here's this boat in the distance again. So for some, there definitely is travel here, but I'm almost getting to that you have sent something away. You've like said goodbye to something and here you are standing alone and then someone again can come in now. hearing a lot of songs what is the song now I'm hearing it is it's an, it's an older song I can't think of it right now um, Yeah, for a lot of you, this is going to be very sudden, okay? This is going to be very out of the blue and very sudden, I feel. And that's why, that could be why I kept hearing earlier that you don't know. I kept hearing something about that. Maybe you don't know what's brewing in the background. And there's things that you have not been able to see up until this point. Anything else about this spirit? So I'm getting this very specific scenario or vision here. It almost looks like it's from a past life though. Um, it's almost like I'm getting two people in a castle. It's kind of strange. It looks almost, it could be some, um, like maybe Ireland or Scotland but I feel like this is a past life feeling here 
and I'm getting two people really enjoying each other's company and kind of like almost laughing and being giddy and running in the castle maybe they were younger it looks like or like a yeah with a son maybe like children um, or just teenagers or something of the sort like that and then it feels like there's this feeling of there needs to be that to be finished or like we need to find that feeling again so I definitely feel for some with the lovers here this could be a very deep significant connection entering your life and there's a connection to the moon here someone could be a cancer or they could have cancer in their chart but there is some hiding of feelings here um, interesting what is this spirit why are you showing me this here how does this connect to to this is this something different There's some feeling of frustration though, like why can't we kind of understand each other more or why can't we be together more? Um, there's a difficulty when it comes to them reaching you right now. Or that could be when it happens too, that there's like a, there's a challenge with, with moving further and being together in this lover's connection. Let's just see what else you need to know here, and then hopefully we'll get a little bit more information here before we... Um, what else does the viewer need to know about this? Because all I can say is that there's just, there's some kind of frustrating feeling here that has just come in where it's like, I, I want to be here now. It could even be like an ant anticipation of like, I really want this now. I want to move this connection forward now, or I want to meet you now. But for some reason, again, with the camera here and the mask, there's a hiding of feelings. But I don't really feel like it's connected to the devil up there. Um, for a few of you, it could be. But I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's really connected to that. What else does the viewer need to know here? Yeah, because it, it keeps in that feeling of like it's it's almost here. It's on the tip. It's like I, I I wish this could move quicker. I keep getting that for some reason. I wish this could move quicker. I wish I could do this now. We have stepping into a new experience. Yeah, so a lot of you, again, you are definitely stepping into a new experience. And it's an experience that is going to be very transformative for you. And that could be why there's so much... Even though this is, yeah, when we're three of wands, there's a lot of fire surrounding this. So like I said, it could move very quickly when it comes in. And it also is building up right now to the point of like really wanting to come in quickly. Um, if you do happen to already know who this is, like you've met somebody recently or there's a date here that you, you're talking to somebody, this could really begin to progress and to move forward because this is a new experience that's worth taking for both of you. And I think that's why the sun is here, because it's really time for this new beginning. It's really time to, um, for someone, it's also like a feeling to where we can finally be together. I keep getting that with the lovers, like we can finally be together. We can finally put this other situation behind us or whatever these interferences kind of are, whether they're just inner wounds or, or whatever it could be. It's like, I want to just get rid of that now so we can focus on us. 
Okay, so we have beware of greed. Someone is trying to come in between you and a friend or you and something that you want. Yeah, with, that's what I was getting in the very beginning with the, with the for some reason, the bouquet or the flower shop. Um, there's somebody trying to get in between what you, this union of some kind of sort here with the lovers. And so, I mean, that could be the situation for some of you, but others of you, it's more of like, it's more of like a, a karmic situation that you've been involved in which is keeping you from this love that's trying to come in this new experience it could also be that it doesn't have to be like something existing or a third party for all of you and that's part of the frustration that's what it is it's like i'm getting that this person wants to reach you more right now but they feel like something is in between the two of you or energetically there's static here because again that devil you know maybe you're still holding on to something or there's still a lot of shadows or wounds here that are being healed with the moon and the devil so it's a very that's why it's coming up that way because like like i said the sun is trying to come out this beautiful connection is trying to come through or come together but there's this like overshadowing feeling uh, that needs to go and some of you if you do resonate with that you would know what I'm talking about because for some it is about you and it's about something that you know that you've been maybe attached to or tethered to um, and it could be much more complex than that it could be something in kind of the spiritual realm something that I feel has been separating you from this true love whoever they are we have pay attention to your work. You will receive a gift. Yeah, with this pay attention to your work, work, I feel some of you, um, there's a need here to focus on the things in front of you right now. Focus sort of on what, it could be work related as well, of course, but it's also like just focusing sort of on the end goal or focusing on progress right now because it feels like this gift, you know, is coming in. You're receiving a gift. Somebody could give you a gift as well. Um, There's a lot of chatter around this, so there could be um, eyes around this or chatter around this. We have happiness, we have unsuccessful plans. Okay, just a few more. Spirit, anything else that we need to know here about this right now? That's the, that's, that's the unsuccessful plan. Something is trying to come together, but it's ca it can't right now with the rope here that's broken. That's what this is here. We have warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. Something here is trying to come in between this union or something's trying to come in between this lover's connection. And somebody could be very greedy here with the devil. There could be one particular person. Again, I don't know how this is going to exactly connect with you, but there's one particular person maybe around you for some, or there's like somebody that you would be aware of that's trying to block you and a new person from moving forward, or they're trying to block like, um, yeah, they're trying to block your blessings. Yeah, they're trying to block a spiritual love. There's a spiritual love here. That's what I was getting. Somebody that you have a lot of fun with. I'm also seeing, again, with the, the people in the castle. There's like a lot of fun here. And there's a deep feeling of like knowing each other before. There's a deep love. It's your happiness. It's the path that you're meant. It's, it's your 
connection. It's your happiness, but it's like it can't come together right now. I'm getting somebody too is trying to, they've been maybe trying to contact you, even if it hasn't been through, you know, earthly contact or like text messages. There's just been like a feeling of them trying to contact you, but you don't hear them. Beware of self delusion. And we have here financial gain, usually coming from something that you did in the past. Interesting reading here. So I want to pull a final card to kind of just summarize everything that we had seen here to put any remaining gaps together with this so that you can kind of know who I'm talking about or what I'm talking about to confirm anything that you could be confused about. And then I will do an extended. And again, we're going to go more into definitely I want to explore this lover's connection, this feeling of the spiritual past life connection, what more about it. And then we'll also dive deeper into what is this wedge or what's going on here. But let's let me pull the final card to so that you can know if this is going to be for you or not. Okay, so Spirit, can you show us here, what is the final message that you want the viewer to know to help to summarize this or to explain, you know, who is this spiritual love connection? Because I can't tell if this is like, I think for most of you, it's going to be a brand new person. Um, but there's this kind of like, there's a weird energy with that devil in the background of of this, of this here. So what is it that you can tell the viewer to confirm whether or not this is something that they resonate with. What is the, the kind of summary here of this reading? How will they know what this is? Who is this lover's connection that's trying to come in? This spiritual connection. What does the viewer need to know? We have do not attach yourself to labels about this connection for it is in letting go and trusting in your higher self. Okay, so... That's why this could feel interesting because that card self delusion is here. Um, I do think that a lot of you, maybe you are trying to attach a label to this. Maybe you shouldn't right now. Maybe as I'm doing the reading, you could be wondering who is this or what, you know, how, who is this person? But I do think that there could be a message here to not attach yourself to a label with the devil and the lovers. Cause there's like a fine line here I'm getting between what we may think is like a like a twin flame connection or a higher love connection which maybe is not for a few of you and it's like something to where there's like a self deluding with the moon that is coming from trauma bonding and coming from fear so you would know if that's for you because you may be feeling very much in that space to where you know that you have a lot of work of, your, of yourself to work on right now and it could also like even even if you have this kind of maybe higher love or spiritual twin flame connection sometimes we can get so attached to the ego parts of it of of wanting again the details or wanting to know who it is or what it is but obviously spirit saying here to not attach yourself to a label right now all you need to know really is that your happiness is trying to find you but you have to trust your higher self and you have to sort of trust in what that new experience is trying to guide you into um what else does do they need to know to kind of confirm this or summarize what this is spirit what you think that you may know about this person may not be the truth they are projections from your own fears and illusions so again there's something with self-delusion I'm getting somebody trying to force something. Like if that's you, it's like you've been trying to force something to work, trying to force something to happen. One more card, Spirit. What is this? So can you confirm this new experience then? Is this something that the viewer is heading towards that is different? What is that? Okay, that's too, I'm not going to get all those. Just one card, last card here. Because it's almost like, it's almost like maybe you're thinking negatively and it's like spirit saying, no, your happiness is here. Your happiness is coming, but maybe it, it could even come from like self, um, sabotage. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So thank you for confirming spirit. There could be two things here though, but definitely at the bottom, this is the new person. 
that's coming into your life for a lot of you, especially if you are, you know, over this other situation or you just are ready for new love. It could be coming in much sooner than you think. And that's where the message is that it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. But try not to, again, get too tangled up in this here. This wedge could be yourself too. It could be it could be that and then we also have a face-to-face -face meeting will occur between you and this person so again i'm getting two things so we'll have to confirm the extended some of you this is going to be a face-to-face -face with obviously this new person or whoever this is for a lot of you it is a new person um and you will meet them you know physically there's going to be a physical meeting between the two of you others of you could have somebody else because of that bouquet shop reference that could be also like a it could be an ex it could be somebody else that you're meeting in person that you could run into and you know that could be where there's some trickiness around that as well And there's a side note coming up that some of you may even have some financial um, struggle or loss by attaching too much to outcomes or to something which you know is not good for you. So if you know that you're in that boat, then you would know that um, because there's some kind of financial gain as a well or reward that's trying to come in. Uh, so very interesting here. Okay, so I'm going to close this up with the advice from the angel deck, and then we will go into the extended. What is the advice for the viewer about anything at all? What is the advice for the viewer? What is their angel card here? So yeah, we'll definitely try to dissect this in the extended. Um, and really try to figure out what these details are with this with this connection or possibly even two. So we have crystal clear intentions, Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. So there's obviously a common theme here in the message about some kind of, again, self-delusion. Look, the moon is here. So there's something with the moon cycles. Some of you could be very sensitive right now to the moon cycles. It's also like emotional. I did see the ocean waves too earlier. So really get clear about like, what do you want? If it comes down to sort of what is your love like what is the kind of person that you want to meet what is the kind of partner that you need in your life what do you need emotionally right now uh, it could be so many different things it could be if you're interacting with somebody or if you do have an interaction with somebody again being clear with yourself what is it that I feel about this what are my emotions tell me what do I want from the situation um, am I am I seeing this from the lens of my own fears even though something really good is happening to me right now or something really good is trying to come in there's just like a definitely a need to um like really go deeper right now and dissect all of this and to become clear essentially about what you feel about these topics and these people and these situations because something again the, the main thing is like something good is trying to come in somebody new for a lot of you is really trying to reach you but you also you also have to be clear about that so I will leave it here and we will go into the extended. Again, I'm gonna look and see more about this. I definitely wanna focus on this main lover's connection that I was seeing, the spiritual love, who that is. We'll get some zodiac signs, we'll get some messages, we'll get some, it's definitely some more detail because I want you to be able to know like who they are because I think some of you might be feeling confused. Um, and then also we're gonna see what that devil's about, this face-to-face -face meeting and kind of go from there. So I really hope that this could resonate though. Let me know if you'd like, and if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And again, if you'd like to book a private reading, I have all the details down below on my scheduling site and on Etsy. So I am sending you all the love, take care and be well.